Welcome back to Today. I'm Jody Applegate along with Jack Ford. This is CNN. You're watching NBC4, the Tri-State News Channel. CNN FM, the financial network. It's a device to give sick babies medicine. In tonight's special segment, medical mistakes. Well-intentioned parents trying to take care of sick children. Do you have an answering machine? Do you have an alarm clock, hair dryer, all devices that are very common now? Once upon a time, all of those were considered amazing. What might be the next invention to change our lives? For a preview, you might check out Hammaker Schlemmer's Search for Invention 96. More than 20 of America's top inventors competed to come up with the next must-have consumer product. This, this is a neat guy called Metabottle, uh, a thing that parents have trouble with giving kids medication. Every year now, the store sponsors its Search for Invention contest. These are the finalists. The grand prize winner was actually something useful. The Metabottle uses a cow... Most of us are fascinated by new inventions, and for those of you that are, Hammaker Schlemmer, the world's oldest new products catalog, is holding its annual new invention competition. And our gadget guru, Andy Parr, is here with some of the finalists in the competition. Andy, And uh, coming up next, we'll see some of the new products that we've been talking about. Five entrepreneurs are on hand to show us their wares. The Burchettes were inspired to create the bottle by the needs of their own seriously ill son. And they recently won a nationwide contest to find the best new products. An Orland Park mom found her baby consistently refused to take his medicine. After trying just about everything, she and her husband came up with a solution of their own that worked. NBC5's Robin Mead explains. Joanne Cameron, sick kids in tow, knows it's not easy to get babies to take medicine. Yeah, they never liked it. But another Chicago mom may have the solution. Lori Burchette and her husband created Medibottle. I, I have to tell you, this is essential. Um, when you need to give medication to the baby, mm -hmm. this is the um, RX Medibottle. This is Hamaker Schlemmer. You can get this. Every mom should have this. I just had to give medicine to my child, and I had to pin him down. It was Bottom line, yeah. once again here, everything seems to be sort of common sense, updated, really uh, appropriate to contemporary uh, updated. ways. Updated. Also for the woman to feel good about being a mom and having a baby and having products that make life easier. The baby gets the correct dose and also in a way that's palatable. Uh, I think it's a great idea. That's very ingenious. And you tell me it was developed by a Chicago area couple? And it's already in use in hospitals. So I think it has a lot of potential. And yeah, it's one of those things. I wish I'd thought of it. Yeah. Now, anyone who's ever tried to give medicine to a baby mm -hmm. has found out the problems that you run into. And you, what you do is you use a syringe like this. You fill it full of medicine like c -Clor, whatever mm -hmm. you're giving. And then you give it to the, to the baby and, and hope that the baby takes it. These people from Chicago, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. came up with this ingenious invention called Metabottle. What it is is it has a chamber in there that takes the syringe so you fill the syringe full of medicine, put it in the chamber, you check with your doctor, make sure that the liquid you put in the bottle mixes with your medicine, mm -hmm. all right? And then as you feed the baby, you give I a see. little bit of medicine at a time. Mm -hmm. It's called Medibottle. Well, as and parents, we can make small mistakes all the time when it comes ra to raising our children. But when we're talking about their health, that's a different issue. Sometimes those mistakes can prolong a child's illness, cause side effects, and even sabotage treatment. It's happened to most of us and can often leave the best parents wondering if they're doing the right thing. Lori Wellsent for Chad had a very tough time giving medication to her infant son. He'd be spitting and thrashing and sometimes urinating and vomiting and screaming and it was horrible. And, and it took sometimes two of us. Lori's case isn't the norm, but what's not so unusual is the resistance parents face trying to get their child to swallow even common over-the-counter medications. It is also just one of the reasons why parents make innocent mistakes. For instance, over or under medicating. What do you do when your child spits out the dosage you so carefully measured? I try to give him a little bit more so, oh, to com compensate for the spit-ups, and that usually works pretty well. I usually wait until the next dose because I'm afraid that, you know, that I'd overdose. Very clever device. Let me show you how this thing works. It's called the RX Medibottle. Baby bottle, little plastic cylinder inside of it, a little sleeve that has a hole in it. So you fill it up with formula, put your basic nipple of choice on, and then you take a syringe with the medicine, goes in the back side of it, and then while the baby is drinking, you just squirt, 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 goes into the nipple while they're uh, swallowing it down, painless for the mom and the child. 